Hatchlings, it's Dragonfeather, and welcome back to day 3. 31 days of Samhain, and for today's episode, we're going to be going over how to create an ancestor altar. And this is something I personally have never done before, so I'm really excited to be doing this today. And if you guys want more information on how to create your own ancestor altar, please click the link below. It'll take you to the Hatchling Clan that'll show you a more in-depth post from one of our members in the Hatchling Clan about this topic so if that's something that you are interested in then keep watching and take a look at the hatchling clan to see some more info for this video i'm going to be using this as my ancestor altar i really don't have any bigger of a space to make one but i, but I figured that small and sweet would be best so that's what i'm going to use and before we get started there are some questions i wanted to answer that you can find on our in-depth post in the clan and our first question is, why are you creating this altar? I'm creating this altar because I've never done something like this before and I really want to start working more with my ancestors. I want to discover if some of my ancestors were witches and by doing so and creating an altar, I feel like I can establish more of a connection with them and get to know them more and see if they are in fact magical beings, just like me. Have you created an ancestor altar before? If yes, why? If no, why not? I have never created an ancestor altar before and I haven't done so because I hadn't really felt called to connect with my ancestors until very recently. Do you think that creating this altar will help deepen your bond with your ancestors? Absolutely I do. I feel like by creating an altar to honor my ancestors and to just celebrate them and their life and to get to know them better and to establish a connection with them, I think that it will create a lasting bond for me with them. And I already work with my guardians, I mostly work with dragons as a draconic witch, but I want to broaden that as well. Working with more mythical creatures, more gods and goddesses and deities, but especially my ancestors, I think that they have a lot to offer when it comes to magic and when it comes to guidance, so that's why I want to get more in touch with them. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and build my altar. that I have created for my ancestors and I included a, a statue of a raven on top of a dragon skull holding a bell so I can use the bell to call upon my ancestors. I have a candle with some skulls on it just to represent the dead and those who have passed on. I have a really beautiful carved skeleton. Um, I want to say it's a muskrat skull that has a pentacle on it for protection. I have some smoky quartz on here for protection as well, and I have a skull candle that I use mostly for divination, then some a little jar that I included that's also for protection. I feel like when it comes to ancestors and working with them, it's important to protect ourselves, and it's important to protect the space that our ancestors enter so we don't call upon anything that we don't know how to handle. So after you have created your altar, these are the questions that you are supposed to answer after. So how did the process of creating an ancestor altar make you feel? It was really fun for me, and even though it was just something quick and simple, I really feel like I took a good step towards connecting with my ancestors and towards establishing that lifelong bond with them that I can tap into from a magical practice. Did you discover something new about yourself or your ancestors by making this altar? I discovered that I have the power to connect with those who have come before me and this is something that I really haven't done before. I've always been more so connecting with gods, goddesses, deities, guardians, guides, spirit animals, all those kinds of things that are in the spirit realm specifically, not so much in not so much that they were here before us and now we're reaching on to, we're reaching out to them as they have passed on so i think that's really interesting for me on a personal level and did you find this challenge difficult if yes why if no why not i did find this challenge a little bit difficult mostly because i've never done something like this before so it was a little outside my comfort zone but i really enjoyed doing it and i learned that i love creating altars for ancestors and putting meaning into everything i put onto an altar to really honor 
um, them and to really honor the people who made my life possible and who were here far be far before I was even a twinkle in anyone's eyes. <laughs> so that's something that I wanted to share with you guys today. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this challenge uh, for creating an ancestor altar. If you are interested in learning more, please click the link down below to the post in the Hatchling Clan made by one of you guys. So I'm super excited to share this with you and in the post there will be more information on how you can create yours. So with that being said, that's about all I have for you guys. Sending you endless love and positive vibes always. But until next time, stay geeky cheeky and freaky. Little hatchlings, blessed be, and stay spoopy. And bye. And it's funny that you think that I'm different When we're both made of water